We all trust established names. We have confidence in our brands. So when we see a banner on a site we trust, we feel secure enough to explore, which is what the person who designed it is counting on. The fight against hackers and scammers goes on, the eternal game of cat and mouse. As one side advances, the other does too. Network administrators have a full-time job just following the headlines, let alone protecting their network against every threat. The threats are many and come in various forms. Viruses, worms, trojans, spyware and hacks. One particular threat is the malware banner. It has been around for years, luring unsuspecting users to financial or informational loss. Seen on major networks such as AOL, Google and Yahoo, it invites people to invest in fake trusts, stock options and other financial schemes. All lost money, all lost faith. The networks tackled the problem and all went quiet for a while. The gradual reappearance of these malware banners has been publicized to some extent, but they still lure the unsuspecting using social engineering to achieve their aims. By posing as a legitimate banner on a legitimate site and by using matching color schemes, fonts and imagery, the banner fools the unwary, even the wary. It even has its own name, it's called malvertising. It's hard to find, hard to combat and even harder to track. It's another weapon in the scammer's arsenal, and it is proving very effective. They use our own behaviors against us. They use our browsing habits and our trust in big names to lure us. It's something that works well, which is why malware banners are still around. Enter Chanuk, the latest malware banner network. Joining the Zeus network to scam as many as they can, they use code embedded in banners to redirect users to a third-party site which launches a fake virus attack. They then provide a fix, which is the real malicious software. They depend on our fear of viruses to provoke the required action, and it works. They know we're aware of viruses and use it against us. Most people don't know site owners have little control over banner advertising. The decentralization nature of the industry means it's easy to penetrate. It's easy for determined hackers to inject their own malware banner. It's simple to pose as a reputable company wanting to advertise on well-known sites. Knowing very well, we feel safe with them. It's a continuing problem. It's hard to protect against, but not impossible. These latest outbreaks of malware banners are detectable. Heuristic tools can pick them out. Good antivirus software will do the trick. Network administrators have little control over what users browse, less over what banners they see, unless you lock down the browser or use ad blocking tools. Use web filtering software and educate your users. Education is the best way of minimizing the risk presented by malware banners to personal and commercial information. While most scammers want personal information, they will take what they can get. Information is currency. It's worth something to someone. So protect yourself and your network against malware banners. Take the money out of it and they will go away. For a while at least.